Oh, I wanted to yawn. But just that noise just came up. In the end, Zainfried, Fidden, and Felix got all of the presents delivered. Then, that night... Ah, oh, there you two are. Weet, weet. Taking in the yew tree, are you? Squeak. Ah, oh, yes, it really is a beautiful sight. Squeak, squeak, squeak. <laughs> squeak. Ah, oh, forgive me. I nearly forgot I came to give you this. You did excellent work at Sage Starfall, so I brought you some dragon yew cake as reward for your efforts. The secret ingredient is cut up dragons, dragon meat. Squeak! Munch, munch. <laughs> Slow down. You make yourself sick. There's plenty where that came from. Plenty of dragon meat, dragon new cake made out of the dragon new meat where that came from. Take your time. Squeak! So I'm glad you're enjoy. Hmm? What? I thought someone was watching us. Did I imagine it? Squee? Squee? I was a passerby. Wait, where are you go? Bye. Uh, Amane, are you alright? I guess so. Uh, no, I am not alright. Thank you very much. They just charged me for no reason. I'm sorry. I'm sure they didn't mean any harm. Uh, don't worry about it. Now, if you excuse me... Please stay. Meat cake for dragons, not cake made from dragon meat. Huh? You came to speak with us, right? You were just waiting for a good moment. No, uh, uh no. I was just, uh, looking at that tree. That's all. Of course. Forgive me. It, it's fine. It's not like I wanted to talk to you anyway. <laughs> um... Yes? About this morning, I, uh, I, uh... Mm? Never mind. Baka. <laughs> Baka. Very well. Hmm. Oh, Oh, don't startle me like that. Mm, sorry. I simply wish to share a word of thanks. Thank you for worrying about us before. I'm sorry I didn't realize that you were doing sooner. While we were out delivering presents, we were attacked by two members of the Ciro tribe. That's what you were worried about, isn't it? So you really did encounter them. The Ciro tribe are my countrymen. They share a dream of expunging dragons from the world. I don't know why I said that in a British accent just now, but recklessly hunting dragons puts both themselves and our country in danger. So I bade them remain within our borders. Recently, however, I received word that they have slipped beyond them and were heading in this direction. <laughs> Which is why you didn't want us leaving the safety of the castle. Yes, but I failed to convey that properly. And for that, I am sorry. It's just... It's just... Whatever. I wanted to warn you, so fit in a feeling to say safe. Not anything else. Not like you're good looking or anything like that. Yes, I see that now. Yeah, I, I, I really am sorry, Zainfried. It's alright, Abade. Your fears were more than justified. The same tribe was responsible for murdering my own. What? Oh, goodness, what happened when you met them then? Uh, we battled for time, then went our separate ways. You know, there's this one guy that just... For the life of me, I couldn't understand him. You should have heard this guy. He was just talking like... Blah, 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 blah. Hold on, how did neither of you kill each other? I wanted blood. I wanted to see blood, dang it. Where is the violence? It was all thanks to Fit and Felix. Weak? Even while they were being attacked, they never lost sight of the mission at St. Starfalls. Fighting alone achieves nothing, and especially doesn't make for a welcoming world. Adults are quick to tell children to solve their disputes with violence, without violence, <laughs> sorry. But what sort of example are we setting? Wait, that wasn't my plan all along. That wasn't my cake, Aku. My plan was to get you killed. Oh, sorry. Wow, and the St. Charles actually agreed? 
Oh, amazing, you know, I'm thinking my plan was for you both to kill each other, but I'm glad you made it through all that. Um, you know, I'm, well, it may not be my place to say this. Thank you for letting them live. They may be dangerous and unruly at times, but they are still my countrymen. And I wish you would have died in their hands, but that's just another- Of course, no one wants to lose those that they care about. Yes, I suppose you're right. It could be easy to forget that, but to make a world our children can enjoy, we must practice forgiveness, not hate alone. That's our duty as adults. Did you just assume my age? Well, I'm an adult, but you're absolutely right. I swear, I swear this to you, Agus. Ah, yes, I pronounce it with a hard G. As a child of miracles, I would do all I can to aid your cause. Are you sure? I would appreciate it, of course, but would your position allow it? My goal is to stop dragons from causing humanity any more pain. If it all amazes humanity inflicting more pain on itself, that doesn't solve anything. But, you know, it would be easier if all the dragons were extinct, you know. Everyone wants a future that children can live in easily in, a future free from sadness. So if we all share a common goal, why not work toward it together? <clears throat> Kronos comes from a future where I'm gonna kill every dragon. So, oh, wow. I must admit, m and I'm quite taken aback hearing that from you. <laughs> you didn't. Know. But thank you. It's very reassuring to know I have your support. It takes similar uh, consi considerable courage to put past grudges aside. You truly are a child of miracles. Did you just call me a child? So stop! No need to go overboard. It's not like I wanted a compliment for you anyway. I always forgot. I brought presents for Finn and Felix. Ah, uh, you know, you just cut the red wire, you know. You just need to cut the red wire. And, you know, I will watch you open it from, you know, uh, you know, 300 meters afar. In no reason in particular. I made some special dragon toys for them to play with. Special, you know, keyword special. Um, I prefer you do it, you know, when you go home. That was very nice of her indeed. We should give her a present in return. What's wrong? Oh, we appear out of presents. I'm so sorry. I assure you it's not because we think you're some sort of naughty child. Child, do not treat me like some infant, even though my title is the Child of Miracles. I don't even know why they gave her that title if she doesn't even like being called a child. We were not condemning the pub with the pub. Were we not condemning a don't run it yeah? Yes, we were indeed. Besides, you've already given me the best present of all the present of friendship. <laughs> oh, what's that? Oh. Oh, this is still, like, cringy. Your safe return. That's all I ever wanted. So thank you, St. Starballs. Ugh, thank you, Amine, for the very cringy comment. Bleak, bleak. You can all just forsake hatred once it's taken root. Uh, maybe Amine, you know, maybe I see myself with her. You know, I, I ship myself with her. In before fan art of me, ex Amine goes online. But I was given a chance to forgive those who wronged me and to join forces with Amine. Perhaps that is my dragon you present. Well, the end. And that is the end of that story.